All right, who knows how to solve this? I do. Can we just use the quadratic formula? Not so fast. Let's add 16 to both sides first. Why? Because Olivia and I want you to use the complete the square method. What the heck is that? Well, I like to think of algebra using shapes. So look, x squared is like the area of a square with sides of length x, right? And 6x, that's like the area of an x by 6 rectangle, which we can split in two. So the area of these shapes equals 16. Yeah, and see how these long sides now have length x plus 3? We can now make this into a perfect square. But to do that, we need to add this corner piece, and that's 3 by 3, see? So its area is 9. Oh, so is that completing the square? Exactly. Yes. But since we added 9 on the left, what do we do on the right? Add 9 there too. Perfect. So now our equation is x plus 3 squared equals 25. And if we square root both sides, x plus 3 equals plus or minus 5. Yo, so x equals 2 or x equals minus 8. That's it. Your two answers to this quadratic equation. Yeah! Guys, why don't we just use the quadratic formula? Well, where do you think that came from? It came from completing the square, little bro. Watch this. John, I can't see you, but you're on fire right now. I'm in the kitchen, Liv. 